I've been hard stuck silver and Valorant for two years. The one time I hit gold was over a year ago. A while ago, I tried to practice for a week and get good, and it kinda worked. But what most people said in the comments is that it wasn't really the practice or the warm up, it's just that I was playing the game more consistently. So now I'm back, a year later, to finally get back to gold and prove that I can get better. Right now, I'm bronze three. So get your snacks and sit down, because this is 30 days of Valorant. Let me explain all the practice I did for the 30 days. First, I started with aim labs. I would do all of these aim labs, which is on screen, and then I would hop off aim labs into Valorant, where I would go into the range and start by shooting the bots for five minutes. Then I would shoot this target for spraying. Then I would start doing these easy bots, and then eventually go to medium bots and finally before we can get into the games i would play a deathmatch which would help me play against real players and after this i would play a few competitive matches whether it was just me or my friends that wanted to play but now that you guys know everything we can get to the 30 days day one started with the aim labs practice and the warm-up for the range by the way i won't be bringing up the aim labs or range unless something actually important happens Anyways, after warming up, I started the first game, which was on Icebox. Oh, never mind, it was on Bind. So I logged Omen, and I was playing with both my friends who were duelists. The vibes were good, and we had teammates that could talk. And on round three, this happened. Uh, I'm fine. After this, my teammates started telling me to smoke more, because I'm smoked. But I'm only playing Omen so I can TP. But I did smoke a lot more after this game. And by the half point, we were down 4-8. to eight, And I was going even. But after a bad second half, it was 6-12. to 12. But don't worry, this isn't where it ends. Because our team starts to clutch up. It's like we lose at 11-12. to 12. It was a close game, but we lost. Game 2. I locked KO on Icebox. I started to stream my games, by the way. By the way, follow me on Twitch. Link in description. But anyways, I was doing a bit worse this game. By the second half, we were up 8-4, to four, and our clove was 20-4, and four, and I was 5-9. and nine. I was doing really bad. Then, the losing streak started. From 10-4 to 10-10. To but luckily, our clove carried us and got us to a win, and I ended up bottom frag. And I ended the game and gained 12 RR, and now have 88 out of 100 to rank up to silver. In my third game, I got an invite to a random 5 stack and joined it. And I locked in Sky on Ascent. Most of the people in the 5 stack were silver, so we got placed in higher lobbies. And by half, it was 6-6, but unfortunately, I was doing ass. Luckily, again, we locked in and ended up only giving them two rounds in the second half. And after this game, I ranked up to silver. Let's go! After this, I played my final game for the day and I was popping the flip off. Like, by the second half, I was 16 and six, and we were winning nine to three. And I was hitting clips, and in the second half, I had a little pep talk. Okay, does anyone else wanna take this meeting? What about Reyna? Reyna does, Reyna does. Reyna, you wanna take the meeting? You got this. All right, anyways. No, he does, he does. Anyways, all we gotta do, we gotta keep getting our picks, we gotta get, keep getting our kills. And remember, we are Valorant. We got this. We got this! We got this! Woo! Unfortunately, this did not work and we went into overtime. I was still top frag, but this game did go into round 32. Luckily, we ended the game with a win. I went 35 and 25 and gained 32 RR. So, I was pretty happy. After warming up on day 2, I started my first game on Lotus playing omen and we started out pretty good actually we were winning most of the rounds but i wasn't doing the best but i wasn't doing the worst and by the second half we were winning 10 to 2 but then Fuck, i did not know you could do that let me ace clutch this remaining. oh my god chamber I low-key clutched up. And I ended the game top frag with a win. 29 RR. The second game was on Haven. And I played Omen again. But this game was different. Because I was doing ass. I got my first kill on round 8. 
I was doing so bad. And by the second half, it was tied up and I had 7 kills. I was almost bottom frag. And the game kept on going and it was still even. We won one, then they won one. Until it hit overtime. And we lost one, which is fine. We can still cl clutch up. But unfortunately, a whiff from me and a 4k from Reyna lost us the game. And I lost 20 RR. I played my last game on Sunset, and instead of playing Omen, I played Jet. In first round, I hit the most insane whiff. Then, we lost 5 rounds in a row, because someone in our team left. But after that, we locked in and won 6 rounds in a row. And I was top frag! And we didn't stop at that. We won 6 out of the 7 rounds. And now it's match point. And after getting a few more kills, I won. And I was top frag and gained 25 RR to end the day. Day 3's warm up was really good and I was really excited for the games. I started my first game on Bind playing as Jet. We started out losing, but luckily our Sky, aka Milky Jug 69, was popping the fuck off. And we had a good brim with lineups, but I was only doing okay. In the second half, we were up 7 to 5, but the game felt like it was 50 50, and I started locking in. We had our teammate, Little Jacob 2014, which meant he was 10 years old, and by how he played, he was definitely 10 years old. And unfortunately, having a 10 year old team did not help us because we ended up losing 10 to 13. But I was locked in and I top fragged. On the second game, we five stacked and we all went duelists. Most of this game was pretty boring. We just kind of beat them up easily, but I did hit this clip. Oh. <laughs> but then my team started throwing and we ended up drawing because we threw. And after that, I didn't want to play anymore. On day 4, I didn't really have much time, only able to play one game. I played on the new map Abyss, uh, and I played as Omen. And after winning 5 rounds, they surrendered and we won. I ended up playing another game on Sunset as Omen. Oh, ne never mind, I, I played Gecko on Bind. And I was on the top of my game. By round 4, I was 4-2, and two, but that's pretty good. Then, by the second half, I was 14-8. and eight. So yeah, I was kinda going crazy. And we ended up winning and getting 21 RR. Day 5, I played way too much Valorant. Like, way too much. Game 1, started on buying his omen again. I was doing okay, I was mid-frag most of the game. But unluckily, we went into half down by 6. And unfortunately, they did not stop winning and we ended up losing. But we run it back omen once again. But this time on Icebox, I locked in. I realized that if I just go up, I don't have to hit them in the head. And after the first half, I was doing pretty good. And our team was locked. So by the half, we were up six. And I ended the game mid-frag. I was waiting for my friends to join the next game, so I got more time to warm up. On game three, I switched up and played Gecko again. Unfortunately, we had three duelists in our game. But luckily, they were really good at the game. And we started up by a few. Their jet also left, which made it a bit easier, you know, to win a few rounds. I wasn't doing bad, but everyone kept killing the other team, so I couldn't even find them. I honestly felt bad. By the second half, we were up 12 to 1. They got a few rounds on us, but after that, we just won the game because we were, we just spammed all of our ultimates. The next game, we ended up five stacking with another few friends and waited in queue for a while. But finally, after a while, we started on Lotus. Since I was doing good in my other games, I decided to play Jet. Now let me tell you something that happens a little too much in this game. See this cipher? This cipher is smurfing. Val Tracker said they were bronze. They were going 17 and 1. But even though they had a smurf, the rest of the team awful. So it was a pretty even game. By half. We were only down by two. Then we were up. Then we were down. Then we hit match point. Then we planted spike. Then we killed the rest of the team and won the game. And I hit silver too. In our fifth game, we all went duelists. And we were up against a platinum. Most of this game was pretty boring. And I was getting a little too tired of Valorant. So I kind of just went through the game. I was top frag in second half though. Unfortunately, we lost this game though. Day six, I only played one game and I don't have any video footage of the game except for the end where we won and I was mid frag. But other than that, not much Valorant today. I made it to the week mark. This game was the first game I played today and sadly we started off by losing eight rounds in a row. Then we won a round, 
Then we lost two more to make it 2-10 by second half. And the comeback was not real because we ended up losing the game 3-13 and I mid-fragged. But don't worry, we run it back. This game started off good with us, getting two rounds to start it off. And our team had good communication, but then our Cypher left and costed us two rounds. But luckily he came back and we got it to five to seven by the second half. But unfortunately they had a Reyna with 170 games and a 40% headshot rating. Like what? Go play for Sentinels or something, get the fuck out of my lobbies. We ended up losing the game, but the one person in the game was pretty chill, so we ended up playing together for the rest of the game. Also, I bottom fragged and went down to silver one. Game three, play on heaven. Don't really want to talk about this one. Played three games today, lost every single one, all three. I went to bed sad and alone. Today, I didn't really have much time to play Val, so I was only able to play one game. Also, I got a new record in my aim lab practice, so I was doing pretty well. The only game I played today was on Icebox, and I played Reyna for the first time, because they told us to go all heals. Most of this game was one for one rounds. They would get one, and then we would get one. And it was probably the closest game I've played, because every round we just traded for one for one. Until the last few rounds where we clutched up and we ended up losing <laughs> the game 9-13. to 13. Day 9 was kind of crazy. I don't have footage for the start, but my footage does start when it goes into overtime. And it goes into overtime for a while. After the first overtime, I tried drawing, but it went to double out overtime. I didn't draw. And then it went to round 30. We lost 31. Clutched up 32. Won 33. Unfortunately lost 34. Still no one has drawn. Again, we lost 35. Then... Held spike long enough to win 36. Still no draw. And I now have 40 kills. Then I 4k clutch. And we secure the win, boys. 34 RR for 45 kills. I did not feel like playing another. Today, I only played one game. And I went sky because I was just feeling like it. But maybe I shouldn't have. Because we started this game by losing two rounds in a row. Then we got two rounds. Because our jet popping off. But... I was close behind with a 3k in round 5 to take the lead. What I haven't told you yet about this game is that every single teammate on my team was being so toxic. And after our Clove lost the next round, they went off on her. And after round 7 where our jet did this, it did not look good. Even though our team was toxic, the next round we managed to make it 4-4. And even by half, we were tied 6-6. Six to six. Then three unlucky rounds later, we were losing. Then after winning one more round, we lost every single one after. And we lost. I have to include day 11 to 13 together because I forgot to get the footage for all of them. And all of them, I only have one screenshot. So I think I lost. On day 14, I started recording late. And it doesn't look good. We are losing 1-8, to eight, and on round 10, I ended up in a 2v1 clutch. I killed one, then I TP'd, I planted a spike, hit in a corner, and then I killed them. And by half, we hit the 3-9 curse. And for the first two rounds in the second half, we were popping off. But then, we lost two rounds. This is not good. We are down 5-11, to 11, but we are different. So, for the next eight rounds, we were going crazy. Well, TSM ball sack was going crazy. And thank God, because we ended up winning all the rounds, and we won! And I'm still silver one. Okay, day 15. We're halfway there, and I'm feeling pretty good. In game one, I was doing pretty good. By half, I was almost top frag as Omen. That's pretty good. And not much more to say about this game. We just won. It wasn't hard. It wasn't easy. It was just alright. For game two, I got two of my friends to play with me. Me and my one friend were top fragging, but we were also losing. You might want to wonder where my other friend is. Oh, he's all the way down there. Even though we were losing at half, we ended up clutching up and winning the game in a final intense round. <laughs> Day 16, I don't really want to talk about game 1, and I'm not going to talk about game 1, but this is the end score. Game 2, since I did so good last game, I went jet this game. And I didn't do bad, but I didn't do good. And we lost, so I rage quit after this game. On day 17, I played two games, and I lost both of them badly, so we're not going to talk about them. What we are going to talk about is the aim labs. Since I started this challenge so far, I've been doing better and better in my aim labs training. But I have also gotten 7 new records in this challenge, which is really good. That's all I wanted to say. 
Anyways, on day 18, I felt so bad for the other team. We swept them. It was probably the easiest game so far. By the first half, it was 10 to 2. And then we lost two more rounds and never lost again. It was too easy. I only ended up playing one game today, so... Day 19 was a good day. I played two games today, and they were pretty good. In the first one, I did okay. I mid-fragged. And I was kind of disappointed because I've been doing so much practice, but I didn't feel it paying off. But after the first game, which we won, the second game we lost in OT, but I was tied for top frag. And we had an insta-lock duelist who somehow was iron 3 and went 5 and 25. So on day 20, I started game 1 playing Omen on Lotus. Now, on day 20, I should bring this up. I've been training my aim and getting better and better. It doesn't mean I'm winning more though. Because at the end of the day, if someone on my team is throwing, I can't really do anything about that. And also, I should also bring this up because I didn't the last time I tried a video like this. I used to be gold one. And even though I'm kind of washed, I was still gold one. And I don't want to make it sound like if you do this, you will get a high rank because you might not. Wait, where was I? Oh yeah, I lost this game. I was mid-frag, and our gecko went 6 and 19. Game 2, I played with two of my friends. Unfortunately, they were not doing the 30-day aim challenge with me, because they did ass. But Loki, I was popping off. But we were losing, which is not good. And we were down 3 to 9 by half. But then for the next 5 rounds, we stomped them. But then, we lost. And at this point, we were getting nervous. But that don't matter, because I'm better. No top frag, though. Because Valorant hates me. Day 21, I was locked. I mean, look at me. We were low-key steamrolling them. 9-3 by half. But unlike the last time it was 9-3, we were on the winning side. And I didn't stop. And we kept winning. We basically just had a better team. We were pretty much even in the scoreboards, too. We were just better than them. On day 22, you can definitely notice that aim has improved a lot. And even though we lost our first two rounds in our first game... I was doing pretty good. And then we won two. Then we lost two. And by half, it was five to seven. And I'm still top frag. But then we lost five rounds in a row. Still top frag though. And now it's five to 12. Then we win. We win again. We win again. And then we lost. We lost and I didn't top frag. So since I was doing pretty good aim wise, I decided to go jet in game two. And we started off by losing a bunch of rounds, but I wasn't doing that bad. But by half, it was 5-7, to seven and I was doing really well. But the clove on the other team was fucking insane. Luckily, we tied it up 10-10, to 10, and we locked in and won the next three rounds. And once again, I was robbed of MVP Valorant. Why do you do this? I didn't play a Val game on day 23. I think I was just busy. I did the aim labs thing. I did all the training. They kind of ass in all the aim labs training, though, so... <laughs> On day 24, I was starting to get tired of this challenge. Over the past 24 days, I've gone up and down the ranks. Right now, I'm silver one. I was bronze three when I started, and I guess I'm I'm just tired of doing this. And I had a bad game. Well, it wasn't really a bad game, it was just mid. But we had a Jed and Sage who were popping off, so by half, we were at 7-5. to five. At the end of the game, Sage had 35 kills, which was wild. Day 25, the new act dropped, and with its new character, Vice, who my friend played in this match and we got we got rolled we got rolled this match i know i know by the end score it doesn't look like it but trust me also this guy was 100 percent smurfing i played way too much valorant on day 26. i have four hours of footage from today so subscribe because i gotta edit all that down but anyways in game one for the first three rounds we got rocked but then our team logged in for two rounds. Then we lost two. Then we tied. And by half, it was tied. And I was second frag as home end, which is pretty good. And we had a really good Reyna. But it was not enough to win the game. Game two. I went home in again. But this time, it started off better by winning the first few rounds. And only letting them get three in the first half. And I was popping off 20 kills, six deaths in the first half. The aim labs was paying off for the first time in 26 days. And we won, and I gained 33 RR, and I was happy. Game three, I played Gecko on Icebox. And the whole game was pretty boring, so I'll just like sum it up. It was pretty even most of the game, because our omen was really good. It was even until we won six rounds in a row to win the game. I played omen again on game four, and invited three of my friends to play that was a mistake even though my friends are ass we only ended up losing by two by half and we tied it up 12 to 12 and that is thanks to my one friend who was fucking popping off thank you ollie and with this help 
we won the game. For the final game of today, I went Omen on Haven again, and we started off okay, we had good comms, and the team's vibe was really good, and the game was just pretty good. I was top frag for most of this game, and the rest of the team was pretty good as well. We may have been a bit toxic to the other team as well, but <laughs> either way, we won, and I was so close to getting to silver too. Three days ago, on day 27, I played two games, and the first I played Sky again, and we were kinda cooking, but I wasn't doing that bad. By half, we were down by six, and it did not get better, cause the other <laughs> team's omen was crazy. Valorant, please fix your game. Someone signed this guy, Jesus. In the second game, omen once again, and this time, we started off better by winning the first three rounds. And by tw day 27, you can really tell my aims are proved a lot. I'm still silver one, but I feel way better. And we won this game and I was top frag, and now I'm one game away from silver two. Day 28, we started our first game by losing two rounds because our sky went AFK, but luckily by half we clutched it up, made it four to eight, and the comeback is real because after losing three rounds to make it four to 11, we won eight consecutive rounds in a row until going into overtime and after winning two more rounds we won the game and i mid fragged but you know what i'm silver too let's go that was the only game i played today on day 29 i had really high spirits the challenge was almost over so i could do anything else than play valorant speaking of twitch please follow me on twitch i'm trying to stream more and i hope to see you there Anyways, okay, since we are near the end of the challenge, I'm just gonna speed run through the next few games. Game 1, we won. Top frag 2. Game 2, we lost. Top frag again though. Game 3, we lost. I did ass. Game 4, we lost. I did okay. Day 30, we finally made it. The final day. And after playing one more game, which I won and made it back to silver 2, I had finally beat the challenge. Now that the challenge is finished, let's see how much better I got. Now, the change from day 1 to 30 is pretty good. I did really good in my last few games and you could definitely tell that there was a difference. Now, the aim labs. Some of you forgot I was probably even doing this part because I barely brought it up, but over the 30 days, I hit a new record in aim labs training, but none of them seemed to be consistent. And most of the time it was just random if I did better or worse. That doesn't mean it didn't help. It just means that the stats don't show a continuous growth in my aim. And for my rank, I started this challenge at bronze 3 and I'm ending it at silver 2. Unfortunately, we did not get gold or anything like that, but we did learn a lot. And another thing I have to bring up is aim isn't everything in Val. There's so much more to Valorant than just aim. And even though I was doing the best I could, I still only went up 2 ranks in 30 days. Over the 30 days, the real thing I learned was Valorant sucks to play alone. I think I had more fun in one game of Valorant with my friends than I did the whole time solo queuing. It's actually terrible, just play with your friends. If you watched this far, please subscribe and like to show some support. I really hope that you guys liked it, and I'm sorry for uploading late, and I hope I can see you next time. See ya.